I've been thinking a lot this week about what the University of Oregon's football game uh, against USC is really about, or what one thing am I looking at when it as it pertains to Oregon's football game against USC at Autzen Stadium. Huge game, big implications, a lot of focus on Oregon because Oregon is the sixth-ranked team in the college football playoff, and justifiably so, but... What am I really thinking about? What am I really looking at when I when I come to that game? Or what one factor am I interested in seeing play out? And it's really simple for me on the Oregon side. And, and some games are not this simple. But as it pertains to Oregon and USC, I have no concerns about Bo Nix, the Oregon offense, the Ducks' ability to move the ball, to score on USC, Everybody's focused on this defensive coordinator switch, which I don't think is going to be that big of an impact in the game. You're still dealing with the same players. You're dealing with essentially the same scheme at at USC. You can't really control that if you're Oregon. If USC decides to scrap the entire, you know, defensive um, philosophy and try something new with really just two full practice days and a walkthrough day, I, I think everybody's focused on the wrong thing. They've got their eye off the ball. I think the biggest factor is on the other side, and it has been all season. What were we talking about all off season with Oregon football? We weren't talking about Bo Nix. We weren't talking about how the defenses would react to Oregon or what the defensive play calling might be. We weren't talking about any of that. We were talking about the defensive identity at Oregon. We talked about it all spring, all summer, all fall camp, and – You know, as much as you can point to the test that Oregon has had this season at Washington against Michael Penix Jr., certainly a test. On the road with Texas Tech, certainly a test. Shador Sanders in Colorado coming to Autzen Stadium, certainly a test. As much as you can point to those games or the Utah game on the road, um, this USC offense with Caleb Williams at quarterback, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, is one of the best offenses in the country and is – Built to exploit defenses. So this is the game, right? As much as you can talk about, hey, what is USC going to look like on defense? That's not what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about what is Oregon's identity going to be in this game on the defensive side of the ball? And can the Ducks, who have made incredible strides in finding balance on the defensive side of the ball and finding some identity on the defensive side of the ball, can they put it to work in this game against USC with the country watching, with the Pac-12 after dark spotlight on them, this is the game. This is the moment that we have been talking about. We talked about all spring, all summer, whatnot. And, you know, I know I was there at Husky Stadium to see what Michael Penix Jr. did to Oregon's defense late in that game. And it's why Oregon has got one blemish on its record. So to me, all this talk all week long about what's USC going to do? How are they going to line up? How will the firing of Alex Grinch impact the game plan that USC puts together against Oregon? I think we're asking the wrong question. The question is, what's Oregon's defensive identity going to be? How will Tosh Lapoy's defense scheme and play against Caleb Williams and Lincoln Riley and that USC offensive attack? Because if Oregon can do that right and be better on defense than they were last season, certainly, and at different points earlier this season, Oregon's going to win this game, and it's going to win it going away because Oregon's offense with Bo Nix, they're not going to struggle. I don't care if you put, um, you know, uh, Vince Lombardi coaching the USC defense on Saturday. It's that that's not the question. The question is how will Oregon's defense react to Caleb Williams and the pressure that USC will put on it. So I am very curious to see how that plays out. So, you know, take your focus off USC's defense. The focus needs to be on Oregon's defense right now. It is the biggest factor in this game.